So today we are reading the Radha Rasa Sudhani Diks, verse 68. Translation. Aho Radha. It is only by great fortune that someone can be absorbed in meditating on your sweet holy name Radha. That sprinkles a transcendental light of amorous rasa. Your sweet holy name, Radha, is worshipable by hundreds of young girls of Raj Mandala, whose extraordinary, beautiful pastimes are again embarrassing millions of goddesses of fortune. Once again, <clears throat> Aho Radhe, it is only by great fortune that someone can be absorbed in meditating on your sweet holy name Radha that sprinkles a transcendental light of amorous rasa. Okay. Your sweet holy name, Radha, is worshipable by hundreds of young girls of Rajamandal, whose extraordinary, beautiful pastimes are again embarrassing millions of goddesses of fortune. Sweet Radha language. Commentary by Ananta Padma Purana says there is no difference between God and his content. And Sri Jiva Goswami has written, the Supreme Lord appears before the eyes of the devotee that are anointed with the balm of love. And the Lord reveals himself on the tongues that are made of loving devotion in the form of his holy name. Therefore, the self-manifest holy name of Sri Ravana it is automatically manifest in the hearts and on the tongues of the most fortunate great souls whose eyes are anointed with the balm of love. According to the authors of the Rasa Shastra, there are three levels of concerts of Krishna. According to the amount of their selfless love. 
साधारणी रात्रि समंजस रात्रि एंड समार्थ रात्रि इन उज्जवल नाम ने रूप गोस्वामी टीचेस अस the love that arises from directly seen the love which is not to be and which is the abode of the desire for personal enjoyment that love is called sadharami or ordinary rakti for example as soon as kubja so krish shita let me be united with this most beautiful jewel of man let me make him who made me happy by showing himself to me let me make him happy for some time with my service this rakti arises from the desire for personal enjoyment and therefore it is called ordinary love so here ordinary rakti mention Ordinary, ordinary rati means like uh, here we could see in this world also. Of course, Kubija's love Krishna and this ordinary love is uh, different, but the similarity is here thinking. this love arises from the desire for personal enjoyment so usually uh, condition souls like us we want to enjoy ourselves and uh, we are thinking always personal enjoyment why because we have ego so our ego is center is myself i my and mine so in this world everybody looking after personal enjoyment and then for the sake of personal enjoyment okay i can exploit others or even i can hurt others i i can kill others that kind of a tendency that we have this is ordinary love
May we continue? The next, uh, Srila Rupa Goswami teaches us again in Nidvalami Mamana. The love in which the lady thinks herself to be beloved's wife The love which arises from hearing about the beloved's qualities and so the love which is sometimes mixed with personal so with desires or personal things sometimes mixed with the desires personal happiness, the love is called samanjasa rat or proper, reasonable love. This love appeared in hearts of me and other concerts when they heard about Krishna's glories from persons like Narada Muni. These Samanjasa concepts sometimes think Krishna spends more time with some other queen. who apparently loves him more. And he spends less time with me. <laughs> if I could be held with the same loving expertise as that thing, then I could also capture Krishna like she does. When that thought arises, the love becomes mixed with the desire for personal enjoyment and loses some of its things. This is interesting. Samanja Sarati. Kuropa and Bizna Gururam. <laughs> like if we marriage with, say, if man marriage with one lady or lady marriage with one man, then it is a, like a Kuropa and Bizna Gururam. Nobody Criticize <laughs> and uh, they can enjoy, but uh, this wife and husband relationship is uh, is okay, but sometimes we can meet whatever we like. And also, if queen or wife has children, then love may divide. Like I say, for example, if we have 10 sons and daughters and one husband, and then our love of husband may divide also. Maybe one eleven, maybe, <laughs> or sometimes less. <laughs> and also, wife can say, 
Hey husband, please buy for me. I need house. I need diamond rings. I need nice car. So this some desire for personal enjoyment. So they can meet usually anytime they have time. Not so much obstacles. So therefore loses some some of its depth. Means love is love is cannot love so deeply. The another love is samaritanity to explain. So again, Rupa Goswami teaches us in Ujwala and Lamani. <coughs> then there is one very special love which is fully united with Rati. This special love consists of a pure desire to please Krishna in union. <laughs> that one is called Samartha or capable love. <clears throat> this love is not dependent on first thing Krishna. <clears throat> Uh, hearing about him. This love makes the concert forget all about her honor, about her family, about her patience. And this love is never mixed with any personal desires. When this love becomes deeper, it becomes Maha Bhav. <laughs> Here, the word Eva means that this Mahabhava never appears in Sadarani and Samanjasara. This Samartha Rabbi is exclusive property of beautiful girls of Raja. This is me. Eva means, generally speaking, certainly, surely. surely. <laughs> So Mahababa cannot appear in Sadarani Rati and Saman Jasa Rati. Mm -hmm. So this is a very difficult word. Mm -hmm. So in other words, if we have 
any personal desire that we cannot attain Mahababa. So this uh, Sadarani and Samanjasarati is, is included some or fully, fully uh, personal desire. But this Samaritanati exclusive property, the beautiful goddess of Braja. This goddess of Braja means Braja Gopi. So Braja Gopi has any personal desire. It seems Gopi has a own desire. But actually, they, they just want to please Krishna. They don't care any their owner or families, family affair, family relationship. or any personal desire means to please Krishna. They can break principle or they don't care, some are criticized, but they may go to hell. One day, Krishna become very sick, and then I think Narada Muni or something came. Somebody came. Oh, Krishna, are you sick? Yes, I'm. I'm sick. So, what can I do for you? What kind of medicine do you need? Yeah, one medicine I need. If I put my devotee's foot to dust on my head, then my sickness, my sickness will go. I'm cured. So, this is a very heavy thing. Mm. So, because in Vedic culture, <laughs> we can take food to dust our senior person. Like, uh, for example, like a mother, father, or Gurudev, or someone who is very respectful kind of person, like authority. So here, Mungenaj Mandir also, if like Sad Maharaj's grandson or granddaughter can, then see the senior devotee or guru there, then touch the feet and put on. But, and Krishna, it's supreme authority. If junior person give his dust on the head of senior person, it's offense. <laughs> this is very dangerous position in that person. So Krishna is asking, Oh, I want to put the dust of my devotee. Say, for example, if Gurudev say, Oh, I need your foot to dust, <laughs> to the disciple, 
then they have a cannot. No, 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 no. <laughs> Impossible. Like I say, senior person, very respected person. Like uh, someone who is like uh, a Prabhupada disciple, someone who is very senior old, you know, devotee, who experienced like, uh, you know, 50 years back the age, like 80, you know, and that, that devotee may say, oh, I need your food to that. Then we say, no, 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 we cannot do this. I may go to heaven. Mm -hmm. So Krishna is asking like this. <laughs> And then now that many goes to some devotees, some Brahman, and says, No, no, I may go to hell. It's impossible for me to give my food to that Krishna. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that many went to many places. I don't know, maybe he went to maybe demigods, or I don't know. Mm -hmm. So he went to different devotees, but all devotees reject no. It's it's it out of the basic etiquette. So it will break rule and degradation. So we get offense, we may go to hell, we have to suffer. So finally, now that we went to Gopi, Braja Gopi, and now that I'm asking to Gopis. So Krishna is very sick. And one medicine he needed. And Gopi asking, what? He needs devoted food to, food to dust. Then Gopi start collecting food to dust. And then give it to Narayana. And Narayana is asking, Go, dear gopis, you know, if you give to this Futurast Krishna, you may go to hell. You will be suffer. Do you know this reality? Then gopis say, if we don't care, if Krishna's disease, Krishna's sickness is cure, we may go to hell. <laughs> we can suffer for him. It's no problem. Because our body, our mind, our soul, everything for the pleasure of Krishna. So this is this is Braja Gopi's mood. This is say like kind of Samarita Nati. So they are they are didi or they are respectful Vaishnavas. If you uh, if could you help us to understand? Radhe, Radhe, my dear, I was just, uh, I was just wondering when I hear this because these are the categories of the the gopis in relation to Krishna. So I was thinking, how are the categories in relation to Shrimati Radhika? How are the different friends? The you know, there are also different relationships. Yeah. And I find it very uh, interesting uh, to meditate how also Shrimati Radhika has different friends with different uh, moods. And to check myself, what is my motivation? Oh, the picture is very bad today. We have not such a good light. My motivation when I serve Shrimati Radhika of course, the gopis, they they want to give everything for Krishna. That is, uh, 
that is their glory. But since we are Radhika Dasis, I um, try to feel what is my qualification of full loyalty to Shimati Radhika that I was feeling and that I was thinking when I hear. And the story of Narada Muni is amazing. And uh, that quality, yes, to have this loyalty in the, in the, in the relation to Shimati Radhika, this is very important. That was my meditation. Maybe you can enlighten us on this. I, I think it was very interesting to, to feel how is my depth of, um, you know, how far can I go to, to be in my Dasi bath? So, yeah, very interesting point Siniti did is uh, pointing out. Because this is uh, aim for Krishna. So still, this is uh, still not to go to Radhika. This is, uh, say, uh, like kind of uh, their Ishtadeva still Krishna. So, but uh, beyond Krishna's worship, and then ultimate, say, we, and uh, 10th chapter, Bhagavad Gita 10th chapter 10 10 describes, we assign Krishna. We surrender Krishna, then Krishna brings us to the lotus feet of Shirmati Radhika, means worshipping Radhika. And uh, Suniti Didi was, was, is a style. So she's thinking her qualification. So in Gaga Bhakti, Guru Dev used to say, don't check others, check ourselves. So how can we check ourselves? <laughs> that is our problem. <laughs> so for me, like, uh, so we are saying, we are doing for Guru Dev, we are, we are doing bhakti for the pleasure of Radhika. But checking is, do, do I have, do we have personal desire for this? Do I have material desire? We may have, we are designing some profit, material profit or spiritual profit even. Like, for example, many Shastras say, if we do, you can get spiritual benefit. Oh, today's Ekadashi. Or oh, if I, Ekadashi, I fast. Oh, I can get this spiritual benefit. Oh, this good. I may do it. It's okay. But this is really Raga Bhakti. We are desiring spiritual benefit or we are desiring pleasure of Radhika, pleasure of Gurudev. <clears throat> like a Gurudev's example. So Sadhu Mah Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj. When Parama Gurudev, Radha Gomindas Bhaj Maharaj is present on Ekadashi day. Sadhu Maharaj was fasting and he, be, he came back at a little late. At that time, many devotees was eating prasada. That is Ekadashi day. So many devotees eating Ekadashi food. But at that time, Radha Govindas Baj Maharaj is very old. He did not follow Ekadashi because his body needed some grains. So he was eating grain. And then Sadhmaraji went to see Radha Govindas Maharaj, Maharaj Gurudev. 
and said, Gurudev would say, oh, you can, please take my food. So he gave some grain prasada to Sadhu Maharaj. So, and then, what is our mood? Oh, today's Ekadashi. Oh, Gurudev is giving me grain. Oh, if I take grain, then, oh, I, I taking thing. We may think like this. Or many devotees thinking like this. <laughs> but Sadhu Maharaj is thinking, oh, this Gurudev give to this prasada. This mercy of Gurudev. So I take it. <laughs> and then Gurudev take it. Then he was, he becomes so ecstasy. He lose himself. He was drawing in the ecstasy. It is there uh, for six months. He does not know to now day and night or I was, I'm, I was eaten or not. You know, he completely like kind of mad person. So if we hear that story, so what kind of motivation we may have, even though we do bhakti, we, we desire personal benefit. We are looking for money. We, or you're looking for name, fame, or some worship. It is a gross desire, material desire. And subtle desires, lava, puja, Pratishta. Lama means kind of material or maybe some profit, maybe spiritual profit may include. And puja means, oh, you, you, you must worship me, you must respect me. Pratishta means, oh, I'm very special person, do you know? Kind of pride. So if we check our heart, my heart, Or, so then we may find that, oh, I may attach this material thing, or I may attach this person, or I may attach this, or my ego still in my inside. Do I do every moment 24-7 for the pleasure of Guru Dev? And we, we don't forget our Manjari Swaru? So 24-7, <laughs> this Niti Didi was saying, so do I, do I remember 24-7 Radha Seba or Radha Rani? Or do I remember personal benefit, personal pleasure? So this is, is not so. But easy. We easy to find out other people how oh, you are doing like this. But uh, this is very uh, interesting. So I I would like to ask Uddhavaji. So could you give some comments on this matter? Yes. You, do you mind? You need. I take the Radhe, Radhe. I'm, I'm thinking, isn't um, Samarata exactly the mood of Radha? If it's pure desire to please Krishna, this is precisely what Radha's desire is. So if our ego is reduced to the point where only we have this pure love to serve, then we're in full Manjari Bhav and we're supporting Radha's love for, for Krishna. So when this uh, Samrati is called the pure desire to please Krishna in union, I feel like this is what Radha's desire is and 
as Manjaris, this is the desire that we want to mirror. Radhana. So Uddhavaji was always thinking, even say, describe this Samarta Rati means uh, usually Gopi or Radharani try to unite with Krishna. But uh, uh, Uddhavaji was seeing as Manjari's perspective. So as my Manjari, how, how should I unite Radha and Moha? So this is a very good meditation. As soon as you would you like to say some comment? Radha, yes, I like uh, also this very much deep meditation that how can I always make love increase, right? That is also Manjari Bhav um uh meditation if i am in my sadaka deha if i am a human how can i always be selfless in increasing love increasing harmony increasing uh good vibrations and of course in the spiritual perspective how can i always bring radha to mohan how can i always bring mohan to Radha and serve them without any interest in self enjoyment. That is a very nice uh, point, uh, Udavji. Thanking, thank you for bringing this up. I also like to meditate in this way, and uh, I try to practice it in the Bhajana Kriya mood. That I am here living on this planet. I try to be as good as I can to always increase love in all the souls that I meet. And of course, the best way is always to meditate internally. This is uh, bringing love also, love of Radha Mohan and bringing Radha Mohan together in all circumstances. Thank you. And we have uh, Chaitanya Prema Prabhu. You know, he's very deep, actually. I realize it. If you could share, it's very... No, no, no. After you and Gopita, did you? Huh? Please, you know. Please, because, you know, your words inspire me very much. You know, just like Chaitanya Prem Prabhu was like uh, working, but, uh, you know, his meditation is very... Interesting. So, could you a little bit share for our enlightenment? Enlightenment. Okay. Okay. Next time. Okay. And then our dear Gopika Didi also there. Uh, I will. I will listen and something from my Thank you. So. Maybe we can go a little bit further, then maybe some more enlightenment may come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last sentence. This Samarkarati is exclusive property of the beautiful girls of Raja. And that is why this text says millions of goddesses of fortune are embarrassed by the extra special attributes of the playful adolescent girls of Raj. <clears throat> but 
You want to comment on that? No, 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 no. This is so good, too good. Okay. But even these extra special gopis worship the holy name of Radha. <laughs> Without Radha's mercy, they know. Without Radha's mercy, Krishna cannot be obtained. Therefore, even the beautiful girls of Raja always worship the holy name of Radha to attain the jewel named Krishna. <laughs> This is interesting. This Braja Gopi is worship Sri Radha to attain Krishna. <laughs> They're kind of Vishama Sneha. Because that we see in a uh, in, in in the Bhagatam. So in Dasarira, Krishna and Radha and the dancing, but Krishna also dancing with other gopis. And then Krishna and uh, no, Radha is thinking, Oh Krishna, you treat me same as other gopis. Is it okay? Radha Rani, little bit upset. And Radha Rani left the circle of Rasarira. Then immediately Krishna find out, oh, my dear Radhika is missing. So also Krishna ran after Radha. Then Gopi could understand, oh, Krishna is missing. And uh, Gopi also looking for Krishna, Mohan. And then Gopi find out Krishna's footprint and one Gopi's footprint. And Manjari and the Dia Saki could understand who is that most fortunate Gopi. So then many Gopi understand this is Shriman. Because he could worship Krishna everywhere. Most Krishna, Radhika please Krishna most. Nobody compared to Radhika. So I was reading in, uh, I think, Radha Rasa Sinamidi, Krishna playing flute. And then many gopi long after. And then many gopi came and Krishna was saying, hey, my dear, why you came in this so late at night. Why don't you go back to your family? It's violate basic principle. Please go back like something like that. But Anandas Baba said, at that time, Lada is not there. If Radha Rani came, Krishna cannot say anything in front of Radha. Because Radha steal Krishna's heart. Krishna is a Hari. Krishna steal everyone's heart. But Radha steals the heart of Mohan. Like uh, Radha has five arrows 
Pushpa Bana. <laughs> and then sometimes shoot Mohan's heart. Sometimes Mohan could not move and faint it. So could I ask a question? Yes. It's wondering about this whether the the gopis are somehow in Monterey Bob still. What is the difference between the gopis? Worshipping Radha to come to Krishna and the gopis serving or the manjaris serving Radha. What's the difference? Between the gopis worshipping Radha to find their way to Krishna mm -hmm. and serving Radha simply. What is this difference? Wait, wait, wait. So, difference between Gopi and Manjari. Gopi has desire to unite to Krishna Mohan. Means Gopi has some tinge of personal desire. Gopi may have tinge of or some percent of personal desire to please myself, to unite Krishna. <laughs> and then to unite Krishna, best way is to get the mercy of Radha. Because if approach Radha, then Krishna will accept. This is Gopi's, like, Gopi's goal is Krishna, Mohan. But Manjari's case, Manjari, his specialty is no personal desire at all. Manjari is desire just to please Radhika. Manjari does not approach Krishna personally. Manjari could approach Krishna on behalf of Radha. So therefore, Manjari is thinking, Gopi is thinking, my Krishna. But Manjari is thinking, oh no, not my Krishna. Krishna is Radha's Krishna. So completely consciousness is different. So difference is, is personal desire is there or not? Also, goal is to Gopi's goal is to attain or unite Krishna. Manjari's goal is Radha's pleasure. Manjari want to help Radha unite Krishna, or Manjari want to see. Radha's happiness to meet Krishna. So I think that is a big difference in the Gopi and Manjari. If someone could help more or add more, welcome. I asked the question, it's a beautiful answer, thank you. I asked the question because sometimes we become confused between worshipping and serving. We devotees, we ordinary devotees. And this is important not to do, of course. My personal experience, honestly speaking, after hearing Rasa dance, and then, oh, Rasa dance is so nice. Oh, maybe I may also, I may join. That kind of some slightest or some percent of feeling coming out. This is Saki Baba or Gopi Baba. Then after, after hearing Manjari's glories, then I found out, oh, if I have this kind of tendency, Sanchari Baba or Gopi Baba, I cannot become Manjari. <laughs> so if we want to be Manjari, we, we, we don't enter Rasalira. 
we just to we we just to stay back and just to try to try to prepare save sometimes ladalani may sweat so we may prepare some kind of you know towel or something or they are thirsty we have to prepare cool drink if she tired she cannot dance then we have to massage like this or sometimes in you know, a fan because so much sweat is coming we have to fan to send cool wind so we have to be ready to serve so therefore like some acharya told me oh jananda let, let us go to go to see the temple or we may enjoy rasa lila i said sorry <laughs> no i cannot go i cannot dance i don't want to dance like this this kind of tendency so therefore now i realizing guru dev is but very very now strongly telling us Stay, stay stay baba 24/7 don't go sanchari don't move here and there so this is uh, guru dev is what testing us do you are in stay baba as manjari or do you have a sanchari baba <laughs> which do you want which practice which practices do you want you are doing so he is asking us oh check check yourself 24/7 <laughs> this is i feel guru dev was testing us and the guru dev want to us to 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 stay baba but this thai baba is actually very rare even <coughs> even many guru dev many guru all over the world very few person could be in thai baba i don't know how many but <laughs> we have we, we are seeing very few person in stay baba only some who is in stay baba teach us how to be in stay baba this is my my honest feeling so therefore guru dev is now it is sick but uh, he was he was he is teaching us so how to stay in stay baba this is i strongly feel i also try to try to be in that baba okay chai chai okay super sama radha radha nanda what told about this uh i would just clear my understanding uh because i'm in presence of superior devotees if they can clear my understanding how i understand so uh my understanding is now what i've heard that manjari is as gopis they worship radha's name so they have same namanishta but ishta nishta is then different ishta nishta of manjaris remain the same radharani but gopi ishta nishta is krishna mm -hmm. so this is then very subtle mm -hmm. they both worship radharani they both yeah uh <laughs> this is then very subtle because one goes to still has some personal uh desire mm. and one is without personal desire only to serve rather than is it like this take the point because gurudev will say 
、えー、スワルパにした、えー、イシタにした、えー、グルにした。So, if スワルパにした is not to,、えー、fixing or not same, we cannot associate that, that devotee because we want to be Sajat Sangha. If we, aso- if we associate with this, it's say, Ishta is different, then our Ishta Nishta is slack. Our Ishta Nishta also cannot stay, cannot stay in style. So therefore, Chaitanya Prem Pabu will give us very nice point. <coughs> so Ishta Nishta should be same, also fixed Ishta Nishta. Even though We, we are chanting Radha's name, but goal is different. Ishta is different. So this morning we are discussing the Gayatri. Even we chant Gayatri mantra. But what is our meditation? This is very interesting. So, like we chanting Radha's name, but what is our intention? To be in Manjari or to, to, to please Radha or through Radha to get mercy Radha to attain Krishna. This is a very good point, guys. Thank you very much. Very, I think, useful for us. So, g o p i k a d i t i you want to share something? Oh, s u r e you want to do this. Sure. I don't want to show up just once. Yeah. Rade, Rade, Dandavatu. I'm not qualified, but、uh, very inspired. I remember one word from our Guru then. Yeah. Uh, what is business of Manjari is waiting. Saki can do anything what she l i k e But Manjari's work is waiting. Saki can use Manjari's. But Manjari's cannot use Saki. This is a big difference. Saki don't need to wait, but Manjari sees the situation and just wait for mercy. Rade, rade. Good point. Because Manjari, one calculation is most lowest person. Saki is more, more higher. <laughs> Or Queen of Dwaraka is <laughs> even one that's more higher. Say, like a material calculation. <laughs> But if we, spiritual calculation is completely different. So Manjari is actually lowest, humblest, softest. But if we see in spiritual eye, Manjari is the highest. <clears throat> Manjari Baba is the highest. Why is that? Because cross and because same mood as Radharani. So therefore, they could even enter the most intimate pastime of Radha and Mohan, like a Nikunjarira or Nibrit Nikunjarira, in Amara's pastime and the Lord. Saki cannot enter bedroom, but Manjari could enter. So, this is an interesting point. In this material world, or even a, a servant, especially Manjari, is the lowest one. But in spiritual point of view, Manjari is the highest. And then, Mahaprabhu knows that because Manjari knows Radharani's feeling. If Mahaprabhu 
We want to taste Manjari Baba. No, no, we want to taste Radha Baba. Then he also should know also Manjari Baba. Because Manjari could understand most Radha's feeling. This is very, I think, good point. That is okay. Well, you are. Rade, Rade. Okay. Oh, oh, Gora Chandra, please share us. Wow. Jai, Rade, Jai. Wow. Yes. Very nice subject. And. Uh, I just thought that sometimes we say that the gopis, they have a selfish desire or they want to attain Krishna for themselves. But I think we should consider that this is in the realm of prema. The gopis, they also have Mahabhava. They want to serve Krishna selflessly. They also do everything for his happiness. They don't want to enjoy themselves. They want to give happiness to Krishna with their body, mind and soul. They want to serve him also with their body. So Manjari is not doing that. And what gopis, they, what they don't understand is that they themselves cannot give the highest pleasure to Krishna because they don't have the capability to fulfill all his desires. They try selflessly, but they don't understand, or maybe they don't understand that only Radharani can give the full happiness to Krishna. And that is what Manjaris, they understand that. And because of this, their mood is higher and their service is higher because they help Radharani to make Krishna happy. So, yeah, also gopis, they have prema, Mahabhava, they selflessly serve Krishna with everything, body, mind and soul. But they don't understand that only Radharani can give maximum pleasure to him. And that is what Manjaris, they understand that. So they want the maximum happiness for Krishna also, so they help Radharani. Mm. So, yeah. Because it sounds sometimes like gopis, they are a little envious with Radharani. They want Krishna for themselves or they want to enjoy. I think that is not true. They also selflessly want to serve because it's in the realm of prema. Selfless love is there also. Just uh, a comment. I... I don't know I'm right with that or not. <laughs> no, actually true. Gora Chandra, Fat Gora Chandra says, I think true. Because they have already passed all material design. Not like us. Not like me. Because they enter Buraja. Means they're completely spiritually pure. But uh, to understand for kind of for kind of our conditioned souls, Acharya say little different way. Actually, you know, they have Prema, they, they may have, you know, they have Mahababa. But still, if we really checking <laughs> feeling, but not material feeling, 
they're checking spiritual feeling, but slightest desire something there. So therefore, Gora Chandra Prabhu is saying true. But the Acharya sometimes try to make us understand clearly. Sometimes uh, they say, you know, or they have personal desire, but not like us, not like me. So <laughs> that is a very good point, I think. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think also because we have this Sahajya subject also. <coughs> when there's a misunderstanding between spiritual consciousness and material, when people think in material consciousness, they can enjoy with Krishna, like a gopi. No? So that is a good point to clear that out. Spiritual, the gopis, they are spiritual pure. And some people who think they can enjoy with Krishna like a gopi in this world, they are not pure. They have material desires. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Jeff Guru Dev is saying, uh, Maria Magdalena, Maria Magdalena. Magdalena. Yeah, and uh, mixing spiritual and, uh, and material, that is kind of a uh, thing. Material does not do, you know, uh, material cannot do something. But uh, if spiritual and material mixing, uh, this is kind of ego is coming. So that is a thing. And uh, so Gurudev, therefore, Gurudev was teaching, at first we have a kind of soul consciousness. Then from we understand soul consciousness, then we can go to more higher. So this is also very good for him. Nice. I think also Gurudev, sometimes he say, no. Nah. The gopis, they want to steal Krishna from Radharani. <laughs> but it's not envious or, no, it's spiritually pure. But Gurudev, this is Manjari Bhav also, showing that. So loyal to Radharani, so fixed in Radharani, so much desire for her, to meet her lover, her Krishna, that everyone who comes in the way, Try to steal from my swamini. <laughs> that is also like a protection mood also is there. Yeah, this is a fixing manjari, so therefore he feel like this. Yeah. Or she feel like this. Yeah. Feeling is like that. Nobody should be with my swamini, <laughs> only she should be with Krishna. That is the mood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Thank you. Yeah, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe, I also would like to say that this subject is very interesting. If we have a spiritual consciousness, if it's not there, if I am in the duality of enjoyment, in the duality of this material consciousness, then I, my heart is not pure. When the heart becomes more pure by, you know, this good association, mercy, and uh, mercy of Rindavan, of the sadhus, of Guru Manjari, all these different factors, then the duality will go out of my heart. And then I can easily understand how the gopi is also fulfilling all the desires of Shrimati Radhika, because they are her expansions. And then my feelings uh, become not bad because of listening. And that is a, uh, yeah, I feel always my consciousness I can observe. Sometimes it's more in duality, I get more conflicted. And if it's more pure, if I feel more connected, if I feel more um, in my in my stai bath, then it's all for the pleasure of Radha Mohan anyway. But thank you for pointing this out, Gora Chandra that, uh, yeah, to feel how every situation when Gurudev is explaining something, it also feel how he or she feels at that moment, and that is my teaching. If there would not be some kind of competition, 
then how Rani could come out as the greatest. <laughs> so there has to be also some kind of competition. Like Krishna also, he need many friends that he can come out as the superhero, ne? the most. <laughs> so. There need to be a group. In that group, somebody is the best. Yeah. But only when, when Mohan is with Shrimati Radhika, then he likes to be subordinate. You know why? Because she has all these qualities that make him become the smallest. <laughs> And also Gurudev, oh, okay, Gurudev, you want to say? I just thought that maybe Gopika want to share something. <laughs> okay, Gopika Didi. I can say this to me. Huh? They were going to say something. I like it. Yeah, like I just want to say, yesterday we were a little bit talking about uh, uh, Gurudev's teaching. And uh, in the West, he did not talk so much about uh, Manjari Baba or, you know, Radha Rasa Snandi, Birapak Manjari. And uh, Gurudev is saying, in Buraja, is, uh, is Yoga Maya is predominating. So, and also Radhika is presence. So therefore, more easy to, 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 discuss on this high high highest spiritual matter in in buraja mm -hmm. this is gurudeva's kind of uh, uh, kind of mood and thinking and uh, this is also reality so what can I do? I, my, my last name, you asked three times <laughs> Radhe Radhe. So everyone shares so beautifully. Thank you very much for sharing. I wanted to, I feel that uh, Chaitanya Prem, he pointed out something so important that we were then continuing to share about, which is about how subtle our mood is as Manjaris. Because our deep spiritual goal is to serve Srimati Radharani. And um, 24 hours, as Guru Devi is saying, and to 24 hours being that consciousness is a very, very pure state. Um, and that is what we are practicing and and. You know, that is the path that we are on. So it's very, very subtle. And then I remembered how Gurudev is explaining to us these different levels of consciousness. So in the material body we are living in, we have our gunas, we have our senses, we have our three gunas. So we live in ignorance and passion and goodness. And this also refers yesterday to the sharing on Bhagavad Gita, which was about being honest and living in, within a sphere of morality, spiritual, religious morality. So we have the three gunas and we are bound by them. We always flow in and out. And then Gurudev is explaining to us that soul consciousness, which transgresses these gunas, he always says, that's go big bar. Because when you're in a pure state of soul consciousness, you are ready to give everything unconditionally to, to, to God. So then you transgress, you transgress the material gunas. And yet Gurudev always keeps hammering, but this is sanctuary bhav. And one reason why, because even when you're in very pure soul consciousness, you always have tendency to fall back into the gunas. So you don't transgress 24 hours. You have spurtis, you feel that purity, you're there. And in the next moment, you know, 
I shout at my neighbor or, <laughs> you know, whatever. Like, it's it's not a style. It's not a fixed path. We, we feel that purity. We live that purity. But in the next moment, we are again in our conditions. So there are the three gunas. Then there is soul consciousness. And Guru says, this is Gopi Bhav. I surrender myself fully to the divine. And yet I cannot hold it. And then Guru Dev explains, then there is, you know, the purity of heart. Sudachit, right? Jananda Maharaj. This is when we are on the path of, in Manjari Bhav, we are practicing, but we have not reached a state of perfection. So we are not Siddhi. So there still we are fluctuating. We are not Astai. We are not Stai Bhav. And then there is Sudha Sudachit, which is, the Mah like really the saintly who are fully living only in Manjari Swarup and undoubtedly 24-7, they are only in the bhav, they are flowing and they're with Radharani. And this path is so subtle. The more deeper you go, the more subtle you feel like the, the, the fine tuning of that. And the more material things disturb you more and more because you are because the more you purify, which only happens by grace, it's happening through the flow of mercy that purification comes, but it becomes more and more subtle. And that's why Chaitanya Prembaya said, beware, you know, <laughs> it's very, you know, it's a very subtle and you, and then you have that, that is where we can check ourselves. We can feel. And the other day I was trying to check myself and I was meditating on this. And there is always a relation to the inner and the outer in Manjari Bhav. And I was feeling when we as Manjaris are standing and guarding the Punja and Mohan comes and he tries to sneak a kiss or some affection from the manjaris <laughs> and the manjaris say no 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 you know go away i received my all cloth my all feelings my all seva is prashad of swamini i you cannot touch me and i was feeling that is also when material things come when we are acting outside when some feeling that Oh, I want someone to recognize how good person I am. <laughs> I want someone should notice the great seva I did today. Or I, I'm giving something I wish for that that person should give something in return. You know, these very subtle things, when that comes to the mind, that is Krishna trying to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away. Run, you know. You. Go back in your path. <laughs> Material energy is trying to catch you. You don't want to go in Gopi Bhav. No. You want to be Manjari. You want to serve Radharani. So this was uh, <laughs> Jai ho, my feeling. Jai ho. I mean, Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> Okay, Gorabani, you want to say something, Gorabani? I'm a Gorabani. My dear Chayananda, my dear devotees, first of all, pranams and lovely hugs to you all. Actually, I didn't want to say something, but I will serve you now. I try. So, I think what Gupika just said, this subtle thing, is that the gopis, they actually want to serve Krishna in such a way that he is happy. But, and this is the point, without Radha. Radha is not there in that moment. 
so they will not bring him to 108% satisfaction. Because only Radharani can bring him to that state because only she can make him completely mad in, with her Madanakya Mahabhav. So to try to serve him, which is actually the basic state of uh, everyone who's living in Vrindavan, they all want to serve the Lord. They all want to serve in some way, so they are selfless. But there are different stages also there. So if you really want to make him happy on this platform, which we are talking about, then you need the help of Radharani. There is no other way. So this is a, also a very subtle point. If the enjoyment from the gopis is the enjoyment of Krishna, but if I, as a gopi, would try to satisfy him, it wouldn't work out. As a manjari, I can satisfy him completely because I will say, first of all, no, 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 don't touch me, but I will bring you to my Swamini. And in this way, I know that you will be satisfied completely. And to, to serve immediately, I would talk with him in a way that actually his greed is growing that he wants Swamini so much that he's almost fallen unconscious. So this is the seva of the manjari to bring him to the full satisfaction and not just a bit apart. So this is actually a subtle difference and we cannot compare it to the cross material world, but still it's enjoyment because I think I will satisfy Krishna. Jai Shri Radhe. Jai Han. Thank you very much. Therefore, even the beautiful girls of Raj always worship the holy name of Radha to attain the jewel named Krishna. Sripad writes in the verse 95, even the Lord of Gokula, Sri Krishna, is immediately attracted when he hears repetition of the holy name of Radha. When Krishna hears someone chanting the name of Radha, he does not only save that person from going to hell at the time of death, as he did with Ajano, when he chanted the name of his son, Narayan. But Krishna even runs after the chanter to give himself completely to the chamber. When the gopis chant the holy name of Radha, Krishna comes to hear it. And tells them, my dear Saki, who chanted Radha's name? 
when I heard it, my heart was soothed. How many names are there not in Gokoa? None of these names can agitate my heart like this one. How much sweetness is there in this name which fills my ears with sweetness and causes her form to crystallize in my heart. I feel as if I reside in an ocean of nectar. Yadunandana lips. All my desires will be fulfilled. And I see this with my very eyes. By worshipping Radha's holy name, the gopis become the objects of Krishna's complete love. Narottamda Stapur laments for those who have no love for chanting Radha's name. He sings glory, glory to the holy name of Radha that resides in Vrindavan and that is the jewel of Krishna's pastimes. Faith has deprived me by not letting me hear the glorification of Radha. Anyone who associates with Radha's devotees and speaks about her rasa, her pastimes, and her love will attain Ganashyami. But anyone who is against this will never attain perfection. Let us not even hear these people's names. Sri Radha's holy name is Ati Maduram, very sweet. God's name is naturally sweet and full of rasa because that is God's nature. But a tongue that is afflicted with the disease of jungles cannot relish the sweetness of rock candy. And in the same way, a person who pollutes his heart by committed offenses cannot taste the sweetness of the holy name. The Krishna's name is the sweetest name of God. But 
Srila Radha's sweet name attracts even Sri Krishna. The book Rasa Sagara says All living entity, you have wandered through the material world so many times. And thus, you have sometimes relished sugared grape juice, sometimes condensed milk, and sometimes you went to heaven and relish heavenly nectar. Sometimes you relish the lips of the heaven, heavenly damsel, Ramba. But tell me true, did you ever experience the sweetness of pronouncing the two syllables Radha anyone who brings the light of Radha's name in his heart will be showered by countless streams sweet amorous Rasa. Shripad uses the word Prabhava in the verse. And Prabhava means here the seed. Just as a seed contains a huge tree. So the holy name of Radha also contains all the items of Manjari Bhava Sadhana. This is very interesting. The holy name of Nada also contains all the items of Manjari Baba Sadhana. This is very far out. <laughs> so if you could do some comments, it's very welcome. Maybe Gurudev. <laughs> oh, oh, good day. Oh, good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Uh, uh, mute, Gurudev. Mute. Can I hear Yes. Okay. Radhe. Now, why is it? Radhe, Gurudev. Hi, Gurudev. Gopika sent me one Premananda Bhava classes in Vila Kusuman direction. Hmm. So I'm listening that it's nice. <laughs> but also I realize by listening when the in the beginning we don't know because like you say in Bhagavad Gita. I know a sign Krishna, then we know, only know Krishna. 
So mind is always going for the Krishna and to give all the happiness to him. And he is also, by listening his classes, I feel it in Hindi. But after that, He is giving many details in formation and then he say one beautiful word. One is giving in formation and one is realizing and living in that realization. There are two stages of consciousness. If I am here only in formation, then I know practice, then realization will not come. Just a information gathering. So if we want to realize something, we have to go dive in the ocean. <laughs> dive in the swimming will not work. <laughs> Diving will work. Diving in a Sai Bhav, in your Manjari Saru, and not going out from that <laughs> is a beautiful. Then he is say about Utkalka Ballari. One is a Utkal, means, means a in English, what you say, anxious. Anxious means I'm missing something. I need something. Why I need something? Because still I am thinking for Krishna. <laughs> I not, not, not. Still, I have not a clear guidelines. My Guru, Guru Manjari is not showing me guidelines after how to, to pull down my greed, my, my, my search, still I am in the search, right? Rade? Yes. Yes, Gurudev. Still yes. I am in search, Utkal. Utkal means I am in anxious to find out what is the way. And one is a will be laugh and a crying in the stage of Kusum Anjali. So he is explaining that Kusum, Kusum means my tears of offering. We laugh Kusum Anjali. This is Manjari, who is living and diving inside the ocean. They are Manjaris. <laughs> and who not dive, they are trying to information gathering to dive. They have no idea to dive and live in one place. Um, now is different person to person. I want to collect information. I want to die. But Rasikas, who is realized, they are only Rasika who are diving and living in that point. They are Rasikas. So I like these words of him. Very nice. I'm searching the 16 because 16 is a very clear 
to understand that but what is uh, anand das baba ji explain is a very high class beautifully he cannot do but he give the same feelings this beautifully his realization i like one is from looking from distance and one is diving inside clear udha baba very clear gurudev thank you you look very nice in this dress <laughs> So, so it is that to say that I am thinking on this point. So I share this. How to dive, Guru Dev? You are in diving. I when I listen your words, I feel proud. You can give some guidance how to dive. There is a guidance every time we need guidance. <laughs> That is our Guru Manjari. <laughs> Without his, so um, uh, always I say, Guru Nista, Sarup Nista, Nista Nista. Without his Nista, never happen. First, his Nista is important. When his Nista will come, then roots. Sarup Nista will come. Sarup will clear, and when Sarup will clear, then Guru Nista will come. Without our Sarup and Ista Sarup, Guru is nothing. He just a man of formalities. When Guru Dev in inner guide us. And show the right way inside. Outside is nothing. Inside guiding and showing the right path, and bringing fastest. That is one thing. Also, I realize knowing something, and you accept it and believe it, is very difficult. Without mercy, I listen. I so many time I listen something, but I accept or not accept. Uh, accept, then I start living in that or not. Then acceptance, then. and this is by mercy coming. If the mercy is not there, it not possible to come. That is Krupa. Thank you, Radhe. Jai Gurudev. So happy to see you and to hear you. You look very good, Gurudev. Look good, Baba. Very good. Very good. But one thing happened. <laughs> There was many blockage. It looks like many thing is clean now. Only I want to leave and cry. Wow! That's, wow! I don't want to share anything. I don't want to do. I want to listen all of you so nicely you share and cry. Mm. One day, God has sometimes say, "I cry one hour." It is so much He gives feeling to me. Don't say to Him, "He's very, no. very, very, very great soul." I'm telling you. Mm. Thank you, Sumiti. What is the time? Oh, six thirty now. Okay, Kishori Devi will be angry if you go up than that. 
Japan is a very uh, late tonight. Very nice happening. I am so proud. Gyananda Maharaj is taking care so nicely. And Andhaka Prabhu. I listen to class and I become very exciting. <laughs> now God Sundar is coming, you are coming. Zoom classes has to be beautiful and give this sharing to the whole world. This has to be go on. This is very important. They are missing in life and suffering, I am telling you. We have to support for Radhika, pray, love. Madhanakya Mahabhav, for Krishna. Why we give our life for Krishna for this? To understand the real way of life. Please, Trinity, never leave this. This is your job. Please, yeah, do it. Man. So, today, Jagatam called me. And he's, uh, she's saying that you say that uh, Narayan Maharaj was not right. I said, what a mad talk you do. He is my Siksha Guru. I cannot say bad. Are? He wants to bring us from the Sanchari Vahav, then he goes to there to bring from there to us, make us sigh. But in our consciousness, he works. What to do? We are not ready for that. We are too much fixed in Krishna. So much books writing to how to bring slowly, slowly, slowly to Radha Dasi. Radha, 